Hey Rad Reelers, JC here with Rad Reeling Fishing. It is first thing in the morning, you guys. I am out here in my Old Town Sportsman Autopilot 120, 45 pound thrust electric trolling motor integrated remote control spot lock anchoring technology. It is the best flipping kayak out there, you guys. We're gonna see if we can't smack some big snook this morning. I'm pulling up to a good spot right here. I'm gonna start out throwing some top water. Get this girl spot locked right here. We're gonna take our first cast with the top water. Make sure our drag's good and tight. We got super good current flow this morning. I'm fishing an outgoing tide. I usually fish an incoming tide in this area, but we got a strong one going on. So we're gonna just stick with it. Stick with the plan, make it happen. Fish around some docks, fish around some mangroves. We're gonna find some fish this morning. We are definitely going to find some fish. There's one right there. Look at that. So I just had that strike. He hit it pretty good ways off of the, the mangroves. A lot of times bait is right out here in this area. It's kind of a shallow area. I don't think that fish followed my lure all the way out of there. But it's good to see they're hitting on top water. Definitely. All right, let's make a quick move here. We'll head over here to the shoreline. See if we can find something. Actually, I want to hit this. I want to hit this mangrove edge right here first. Last year, there were some big snook hanging out right here in this little point corner area. I never could get them to hit, but I saw them two or, th two or three different times when I was over here. So, we may as well just take a little time right here. See if we can't find something hanging out. Yep, there's one right there. There's one. We, we got one chasing it. Little bitty guy. Oh my gosh, she is so small. Look at that. We got them hanging right next to the mangroves up there. I got hit about four times. Oh, 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 oh no. Come on, get out of there. Ah, I got hung up. Come on, don't do that. Oh, it is hung so freaking good, you guys. Let's go get unhung. I can't believe it. I'm out of practice, guys. I haven't, I haven't fished in the kayak in about two months. I threw that top water right in the middle of the mangroves. Just call me squirrel. Water's kind of dirty looking, man. Oh my gosh, it is so hung up. Darn it, dude. There we go. Got it. All right, good deal. Okay, let's move it on. Let's head over to another dock. Well, we got three strikes right there on the top water. Nothing substantial. But then again, you never know. Sometimes a big snook hit it and you think it's a small snook. And it turns out it's a big snook. And sometimes small snook hit it and you think it's a big snook and it turns out to be a small snook. Some of my favorite kind of fishing right here. Some of my favorite kind of fishing. Get up before the sun rises. Get out here at sunrise. The tide's moving good. We got a, the tide's moving until 10 o'clock. About the time it starts getting hot, tide's gonna be slowing down. So we got plenty of time to find some fish this morning. I'm starting out over here on this side. I don't usually start on this side when I'm topwater fishing for snook, I like to fish the docks over there on the other side. Ho, 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 baby. They get loaded with, with fish, but right here, the spot right here around this boat and these mangroves, I don't see any bait working up there, but this is a, this is a good spot where bait tends to get piled up in there. If I can get it all the way back up in that cove between the piling and the mangroves, 
try and work it through there. That's a good spot to get them. A good spot to get them. No Sims are bad, man. I wonder if, if uh, see that little cove? We're gonna get it way back up in that cove. Work it out of there. There's some bait up in there. Yeah, we ought to get whacked right in here. There's plenty of bait. Yep, there's one. There's one chasing it. There's one chasing it. Come on, dude, get it. He's not sure about it. He's not sure about it. He's still chasing it. I can see him waking behind it. Yep, he's still on it. Just not sure about it. Little fish. Oh, it had a, it had a, uh, a pine needle on the back of it. No wonder. <laughs> like, what is that weird looking top water with a pine needle on it? Oh, there he is. Come on. Oh, that's a good one there. That's a good one there. Come on, dude. Get it. <laughs> Come on. Why won't they commit to this thing? Doggone it. Come on. They am chasing it like crazy this morning. There he is. There he is. Got him. <laughs> Woohoo, baby. We got you, little guy. Yeah, we got you. That's what you get for smacking it so many times there, fella. Way to go. You got yourself hooked good, didn't you? All right. Nice little snook. Cute little guy. Heck yeah. What a way to start the day. See ya. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. See if we got another one up there. Yeah. All right. This top water is exciting. About to get smacked. About to get smacked right here. Right here. Yep, there he is. Oh, I missed him. I missed him. He's chasing it. He's on it. These fish are hungry, guys. These walking baits, all you do is you just pull your rod tip. Tip, 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 just like that. Yeah, I think I think they're getting wise to us now. Way back up in that corner, right where the right where the dock meets the rocks. A lot of times that's where snook hang out. They will hang out in that, that first span of a dock like that. Right up next to the shore. It's in shallower water. That's generally where the bait hangs out. So you got two things going on with them. They hang out in that that area close to the bank because they're protected from the dolphins. Oh no. No, we don't need this this morning. I better spot lock it. We don't need a, a knot this morning. So they'll hang out up there because they're protected from the dolphins. And uh, obviously find the bait, find the fish, right? So it's the same thing when you're fishing big bridges for snook. A lot of times that first span from the seawall to the pilings, You'll find the snook hanging out right in there. Oh, that's the cast, baby. That's the cast right there. Not seeing any activity, guys. This is not good. I'm not seeing fish feeding this morning. There he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. <laughs> My lure got messed up. Oh. Oh, there he is. He missed it. Oh my gosh. They are smacking this thing all over. 
and hardly committing to it this morning. Look at him. Look at him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Got him. Oh my lord. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that was very entertaining. That was very, he probably hit that thing 10 times on the retrieve. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's see if we can get him. Let's see if we got him mad enough to chase it again. He actually nipped it. He, yeah, yeah, there he is. He felt the hook. <laughs> that, that little snook. That was so funny. <laughs> that little snook. That little guy was just too funny. Alright, you know what? I need to put on my sunglasses. It is starting to... The sun is starting to crack. Get bright over the horizon. Besides that, I look cool. It takes a couple years off my life. Starting to be an old man. Young at heart, though. That's the key to life. Stay young at heart. Life is fun, man. Yeah, see I got birds feeding on that point over there. I just saw two birds dive right there on that point. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, yeah, we must have a bunch of bait over there. Let's head over there on that, around that island. Yeah, bird activity. I don't see any fish feeding, but we got birds over there feeding, so let's see. Oh, gorgeous morning, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. Love my life, man. Yeah, we got we got good current right here. We might have us a fish up in here. Let's see. Yeah, I can see the bait hitting on top of the water. There he is. Oh, I lost him. Dang it. Dude, he hit it way out away from the rocks. Oh my gosh. He's 20 feet away from the rocks. What? I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. That was a good hit too, man. Dang it. <laughs> that was a really good hit. There he is again, out in the middle of the freaking channel. What are you doing out here? What are you doing out here? Maybe these fish are more over this way. There he is again, they're right here. Oh guys, they are hitting this thing so short. I mean, I'm getting hits like crazy. What the heck? They are short striking this thing so bad. It's not even funny this morning. Come on, fish. Don't do me like that. Right here. They're hanging right in there for some reason. Hmm. Give it a heave ho. What do you know, Joe? Always pay attention to the birds. The birds will tell you where to go fishing. Not just when they're flying and diving, but if you see birds perched up on the bank, like herrings and the, the white egret looking birds, well actually they're white herrings. See those birds on the shoreline, they'll just be standing there. Well, you know they're what they're doing is they're waiting for the bait to come by, so. Pretty shallow right in here, but let's, let's run a topwater right along the edge of this corner right here. He missed it. Oh, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. No, 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 don't get hung in the motor. Doggone it. That was a good fish. That was a good fish. And I got a braid dangle. How in the world does this happen? Freaking braided line. Got all wrapped up. 
made a knot around the second eye. I hate it when it does that. A, a deep drop off right here. I came through here, I saw about five or six snook and came around the corner as a huge ball of bait, so. Oh my God, look at all the snook down there though. Loads of snook. All right, I'm gonna throw on them. There's just a giant pile of bait right there. Lots of bait and lots of snook. We should have got some of those. No, oh, yeah, we got them. We got them. We got them, guys. Lots of bait. They're not giants, but that's what these fish are feeding on. I got a halfway decent amount of bait. I want to go ahead and start fishing before this tide quits. But right here on the corner of this rock, I saw quite a few snook right there. It's deep, and the bait, all that bait's hanging out deep right along the edge of these rocks. So I'm going to see if I can't get positioned here uh, far enough out to just cast up there and see if we can't catch some snook right there in that little there's a little trough area right there i'm hooking these greenbacks right in the nose right in front of the eye like that that's the way we do it this hook is really big a lot bigger than what i i'd like to be using Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good one there. Oh, snook. I got us a snook. Nice. Oh, he's got a follower too. He's got one following him. Come on in here, little fella. Nice. Good little snooky, snooky, snooky. There's some YouTubers that complain about these cup holders not draining, but I always say it's all about perspective. I use them to keep my shrimp and my pinfish in there sometimes. <laughs> there he is. There he is. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good fish. Nice. Could it be a keeper snapper? Oh, it's another snook. <laughs> it is another snook. He's putting on a snook show. Find the bait, find the fish. No doubt. Well, looks like we're going to have us a good time now. I'm having a good time. How about you guys? <laughs> I'm having a great time. I am having a great time. Cute little snook. Little bit of greenback, man. Little bit of greenback shiner. Hooked in the nose. Got him. Guess what, guys? I signed on another sponsor today. That means more money for the channel, which means more money for the celebration of 50,000 subscriber giveaway. Yeah, I'm giving it all away, you guys. So here's how you become eligible one a $100 Amazon gift code. Now what that means is that if you are the winner, I'm going to email you a gift code to Amazon and uh, yeah, you just go to Amazon and use that gift code and you'll be able to buy whatever it is that you want to buy. So here's how you become eligible to participate or here's how you participate in this particular giveaway. It's really simple you guys. I'm keeping it so simple, right? Give this video a thumbs up. You got to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below anything that you want to comment. I'm going to do a random picker again. Next video, I will select the winner in the next video. All right. And if you are not participating in the giveaway for the six hour inshore charter fishing trip with Captain Todd Walker, son of a fish, Baywalker One Charters in Sarasota, Florida, yeah, I'm giving away a six our inshore trip you guys get to come fish with me if you win okay but that's in the previous video not this one in the previous video go to the previous video and you have to comment on the previous video the one where it actually says i'm giving away a fishing charter all right guys thanks for watching this video everybody get out there and go fishing man life is fun live it see ya